once you comprehend the value of ayat a karima and what a blessing it is, you get the pleasure of reciting it no matter how much time it takes. If you don't experience the benefits, you can't get pleasure in reciting it. Imagine how you feel if Allah has forgiven you, He has discarded all the previous records, resolved all the cases, and closed all the files. Similarly, if we are facing poverty and hunger, deprivation, diseases, childlessness, troubles, if we are stuck in some unresolvable case or problem, or if we are in such a predicament of life we feel like only death can erase it, trust me. Ayat A. Karima is the best solution to get rid of all such issues. The reason is that once we accept our sins, Allah orders the angels to close our files and to erase all the sins. The angels say, O Lord! Allah! He is a big criminal, Allah says, He has admitted His crimes. Is there anyone more forgiving and merciful than me? Hamedah Hindu in Sindhi said to me, Ask Muslims to recite Quran. I recite Ayat A Karima, and get whatever I want. A Hindu said this to me. He lived in Oderolal located next to Tondo Adam Khan. Oderolal is a place located next to Tondo Adam. Here there was a saint called Lal Shabazz. His shrine is there along with a temple. Both Hindus and Muslims visit that place. There I met a Hindu who came to know that I am from Lahore, and that I am aligned with Hijveri lineage and Dada Darbar. He told me to tell the Muslims to recite this verse. If a Hindu recites and gets the benefit, then why don't we? What I realized is that if I recite it and don't get its benefits, then I should blame it on my uncertainty, my doubt, and my inefficiency. I must recognize that there is something lacking in my life, due to which I am deprived of the benefits of this verse.